The Denver Broncos signed right tackle Mike McGlinchey, who in my opinion is a top 10 right tackle in the NFL, and he is easily the best run blocker among all NFL tackles. The guy has rear special ability when it comes to run blocking. Yes, he needs to get better in his pass pro. We'll talk about all that towards the end of this video. I'm fired up to do this one. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into this 68-yard run by Christian McCaffrey. Uh, keep in mind, this is an outside zone to the opposite side of Mike McGlinchey. But in my opinion, this play right here sums up why the Denver Broncos want this guy. Remember, the Denver Broncos are going to run a lot of outside and inside zone plays. So, for example, on this play, got an outside zone to the left, which means McGlinchey has to reach here to the inside of this defensive lineman that's lined up in the three technique. This is a pivotal block because if McGlinchey doesn't make this block, that guy could blow this play up from the back side. But McGlinchey does a fantastic job being able to cut him off. So you see right there, McGlinchey is able to cut the guy off. And that to me is a really solid block. It's a big part of why this play ends up hitting. Now, obviously on the front side, they do a great job as well. But a big part of playing offensive tackle is backside blocking you got to be able to cut off your defender whoever it is on the back side so if you don't cut this guy off you can easily jump the gap and blow the play up so to me this is a really really nice play by the right tackle keep in mind backside blocking is a one little part of so many different type of blocks that tackles make let's go ahead and get into the next rep you got a power run here. McGlinchey has a down block on the three technique defensive tackle. What I want you guys to watch within this play is how much McGlinchey moves the defensive tackle. He's going to make contact with this guy and absolutely crush him downwards. And that opens up a pretty nice lane for Davis Price, the running back. Beautiful job in my opinion. As McGlinchey gets out of his stance, he's going to do a great job making nice contact. Helmet lands on the correct side as well. And from there, he just crushes this defensive lineman down. And you see that he moves this guy about two to three yards downwards. That's a really nice job creating a massive lane for the running back here to hit. Beautiful job, in my opinion. McGlinchey, again, is one of the best run blockers at that tackle position. And there's just a lot of these type of examples where he's crushing people over and over and over again. McGlinchey is just dominating people, opening up massive lanes, moving people out of the gap. Touchdown runs, non-touchdown runs, right? Uh, McGlinchey, in my opinion, is a great pickup for the Denver Broncos. And we'll get into his pass blocking in just a second because there are some issues there, right? You're signing McGlinchey with the hopes that he gets better in his pass blocking, but you also understand paying him the contract that you're paying him. You're getting the best run blocking tackle in the NFL. And that is McGlinchey. Power runs outside, inside zones, dual concepts, whatever it may be, the guy crushes people. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Check this rep out. You got a 14-yard touchdown run. McGlinchey does a great job being able to hold on and have that grip strength to stop the defensive lineman to make contact here with 93 and hold him long enough for the running back to be able to take this to the outside. This is a really, really nice shot to show off that strength, right? Be able to make contact. Give your running back the outside lane. Beautiful job by Mike McGlinchey on this play. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. You got another really nice block. He's going to double team here with the right guard. And from there, he's going to get up to the backside linebacker. Get a couple of guys to come around and lead. And the running back's going to pick up 10 yards. But a big part of the running back being able to get those 10 yards is going to be the double team block by McGlinchey at the initial point of attack right there on the defensive tackle. Getting this guy turned to the right and then getting up to that backside linebacker and cutting him off as well. So really, really nice job right there by McGlinchey. Make contact with the first guy, get up to the second guy, and drive him back five yards to allow your running back to pick up a really nice amount of yards. Beautiful job right there. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. The very first rep we broke down on McGlinchey's, he did a great job cutting off the backside defender. Here's another example of just that. Beautiful job in my opinion. This play right here does not work without that block. You're going to see as McGlinchey gets out of his stance, it's the zone to the left. He's going to overtake the defensive lineman here, which allows the guard to get up to the next level and cut the backside safety off. If you keep an eye on McGlinchey within this rep, look at him do a fantastic job. To me, this block right here by McGlinchey is a superstar block. Honestly, this is why he's getting paid the amount of money he gets paid. People don't realize what he does on this play right here is so damn impressive and not every tackle can do these things. This guy's consistent and does this almost every single rep when it comes to reaching, when it comes to being able to get to the outside, inside, a power runs, he's very tough, very strong. 
seals it off like this so many times over and over and over again. And this guy is special because of plays like this right here. Really like it. Let's get into the next rep. All right, you guys, another backside run here. Check out the guard. He's going to hit this defender here. He's going to jump up to number 25, the inside linebacker. And McGlinchey's going to overtake this defender. To me, once again, this is just a beautiful job by McGlinchey, who's going to be able to reach all the way to the inside. And you guys see it right there. He has cut this guy off on this rep. This play also ends up going for 20 yards because McGlinchey and as well as the entire offensive line right this isn't just McGlinchey doing a good job but he is one of the guys that has to be able to reach right so again great reach blocker love it I think the Broncos are going to use this guy to do this at that same position I do want to switch focus and I do want to get into some of his pass blocking because last year McGlinchey did give up six sacks and in my opinion when you're that far into your career and you've started a shit ton of games you should not be giving up those type of sacks now McGlinchey's sacks given up could be put into two categories in my opinion. Uh, first and foremost, bad technique is easily the biggest part of why he gives up sacks. Um, and then there is the fact that he doesn't anchor well in pass pro. And you see it here where he gets bull rushed by Chris Jones. Do understand Chris Jones is a top five defensive lineman in the NFL. But these are some of what McGlinchey has to fix. And I do think as he progresses over the course of his career, these are some of the things he will fix. Keep in mind, he is still only 28 years old. He probably has another six to seven years left in the NFL. So he can still get so much better over the next couple of seasons. But again, you got to be able to anchor. You got to drop your hips and you got to be able to stop the bull rush. And in this instance, he wasn't able to do that. Now, again, this is one of two ways that he loses. But the one that really concerns me is going to be his technique. Sometimes he doesn't get deep enough in his drops and you see it here where he ends up getting beat right out of his stance. A big part of playing tackles, you got to be able to get vertical and hit your landmark. You got to beat the guy who's coming off the edge to that spot. You can't let him beat you. And this really starts with bad technique, right? You can kind of see as McGlinchey gets out of his stance, he just doesn't drop deep enough. And then he's caught trying to turn and try to get to that defensive end. And he's just not able to stop him. Very, very poor technique in my opinion right there. You can see he's in a really bad spot. Again, you got to get to your landmark, right? And do keep in mind, last year, Michael Glenchy played over 1,200 total snaps. And in those 1,200 snaps, he gave up six sacks and three quarter wreck hits. So it's not like it's absolutely terrible, but he does have to continue to improve. Here's another rep where he's going to be going up against the defensive end. Uh, he doesn't anchor down once again. And you can see the quarterback's going to end up getting pressured. Uh, so to me, it got to do a little bit of a better job in this instance. Uh, as you're going to make contact with this guy here, this is as far as he should get. Maybe give him another yard, but he shouldn't get all the way back to the quarterback when there's about six yards between you and the quarterback. So just to continue to improve a little bit, uh, anchor, right? Really develop the ability to anchor, drop your hips uh, within the pass pro set. Here's another rep here where he's not able to fully anchor down. On this rep, he's going to jump set the defensive tackle, and the defensive tackle is going to get his hands right into the chest and basically drive McGlinchey right back into the quarterback, and McGlinchey ends up falling. So we just back this up here, uh, and we'll slow it down. You guys can see McGlinchey's going to jump set it, which means he's going to go directly at the defensive tackle. This is to sell a play action. It's really to suck in those linebackers. But again, you got to do a better job anchoring down. Right, you can see he's trying to drop the hips. He's spreading those legs out. He's trying to drop that anchor. But the defensive lineman here is going to basically push him right back into the quarterback once again. You can't have that. Right, you can't have your offensive tackle being pushed right back into the quarterback. That too is a play action quick throw. Got to do a better job in my opinion. But again, there's still a lot of really good reps in his pass pro as well. Here's a pretty good rep against the Washington Commanders. He's going to do a great job getting to his landmark, getting to his spot, making great contact with number 90, and then he's going to just anchor down within the rep. It's a pretty nice job to give your quarterback the time to get the ball out. Uh, again, it's not always bad, right? There are some reps that, in my opinion, are good reps by McGlinchey, but he just has to get more consistent, and he can't lose. Personally, I love the pickup. I, I think Mike McGlinchey is a great football player. And he still has a lot of upside, right? So for me, I think this is a great pickup for the Denver Broncos. Here's another rep right here. He's going to do a great job getting out of his stance. Super explosive. And that is when he is the best. When he's able to time his snaps, when he's able to hit his landmark, when he's able to make contact first, 
That is when McGlinchey is best. And in this rep right here, he does a fantastic job taking on the defensive end and absolutely shutting it down. Really nice rep right here. Overall, in my opinion, I think Mike McGlinchey is one of the best tackles in the NFL when it comes to run blocking. And I think in pass pro, he'll definitely get better, right? He's a smart football player. And I think that goes a really, really long way. And when I say he's a smart football player, when it comes to these defensive line games, just like this one, he picks it up and he picks it up well. So for me, smart football player, great run blocker, still has a lot of upside. Yeah, he'll get better in his pass pro to meet the upsides there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.